Hey Moi Beauties, it's Ashley Kay. I'm gonna show you how to create your brows in 10 minutes or less. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into how I create my brows. So I only use two products to create my brow. I use our Precision Brow Pencil in Deep Brunette. I'm gonna try to get it to focus on here for you. I don't know how the YouTubers do this crap. It's too complicated, but whatever. I'll put the product information below. And I also use our Liquid Concealer in Medium pH. So these two products and one brush. This is all you guys need. There's lots of other brow products out there. We even have them, but to me, um, I like my brow to look really natural and I like to do it really quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So first I use the spoolie on the other side of the pencil and I brush up my brow. So when you do your brow, you wanna make sure that it starts right about there. And if you notice, I'm going into the slope of my nose to get that angle. So you wanna go straight up and that's where your brow should start. You wanna go directly across the center of your eye. That's where your arch should be, which I have, so that's okay. And then you wanna go just under your eye and about there. So no one's brow really like ends over there, but you can kind of aim the brow to end in that direction. So for me, I always start in my arch and tail first, and I'm just gonna go light strokes upward. I don't know what's going on. My fire alarm thing keeps going off. And Louie's over here because he's scared. It's okay, Lou. Okay, anyway, back to brows. So I'm gonna go downward in light strokes. You wanna follow the arch. Okay, so I have my tail. Now I'm gonna go into my brow. I'm really just following the brush stroke of my brow. That's the biggest tip I'm gonna give you because I see a lot of the times um, when people are recreating their brow that they're just like creating a box and then filling it in. Um, I like for my brow to look a little bit more natural. So what's so cool about this pencil is that the other side is a mascara wand. You can just like brush it through and it evenly blends out the product that you're applying. Um, so I see there's like a little spot right here. So I'm only gonna go right there and I'm just gonna make it look even under here so that it all connects in one line. Right, and now I'm gonna go under here. So this is the most important area of a brow in my opinion. If you notice, my brow naturally goes down at an angle. That's what you want. You want your brow to naturally go down at an angle to give the illusion of the arch here or to actually just create the arch there. Everyone thinks an arch is created in here, but really when you go down at an angle here, it gives an instant lift to your brow. And then I'm just gonna go upward and fill that in. This area should never look like a block. You always want it to look like airy and maybe even like a little bushy. You don't want it to look crazy. So I'm gonna move that mark that I put there earlier and I'm just going to finish it out. Okay, and then I'm gonna brush it. I love having the mascara wand, this, some people call it a spoolie, whatever, a mascara wand. I love having it on the other side because I love the like bushy brow look that everyone's into right now. It just makes the brows look really natural. And I'm just going through like any spot where I see it looks like a little bit light or a little sparse. I'm going through and now I'm going to grab my concealer. I'm just going to do a couple of dabs on my brow bone. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have little hairs that could definitely be plucked. Um, this is a really great trick to create a brow and not have to pluck them. You can kind of grow them out. I don't get my brows done. I do my own brows and this is how I do it. I fill it in and whatever I see that's underneath the shape that I want, I just pluck with a tweezer. So I'm grabbing our mascara, not mascara, our concealer brush. And if you notice, I'm just very lightly taking any concealer that I have there. And with the concealer, I'm able to pretty much like erase the little hairs that are underneath because the concealer is so bright and the brow is, you know, darker. It has more of a shape 
between those two, they contrast and bounce off of each other. So it lets you have a little bit more control over creating your shape and it actually kind of erases any mistakes. Sometimes I'll go in and realize that maybe like I made a little bit of a mistake with the <laughs> I have to show you guys what Louis is doing right now. This dog does not like the sound that our fire. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give you a bath. What are you doing? That's so disgusting, Lou. He doesn't like the fire alarm sound. I think my battery's dying. <laughs> okay, so back to my brows. <laughs> Um, more control with the concealer. I really find that like if you make a mistake, you can create a little bit more of your shape. And sometimes I'll even realize with my concealer like, oh, I actually, this doesn't look that even or that clean. So I'll just take whatever's left in my concealer and you see how it really helps that brow come to a little bit more of a point. Um, I'm just gonna grab like a blending brush that I have and I'm just gonna soften my concealer. This really helps to, you know, with your eyeshadow, like it gives your lid a really pretty and clean base. And you wanna bring the concealer down in this inner corner as well because it brightens up the eye. So, done brow, mm, brow. Big difference, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my other brow. All right, you guys, so now my brows are more even. As you saw, I went back and made this one a little thicker. This one's kind of um, naturally a little smaller and a little thinner, so I just made the tail a little bigger to match this one because this one is naturally a little thicker and this one's a little longer naturally. So they're both a little different. Brows don't have to be perfect. I like to get them as close as possible, um, but you know, just do the brow until you're heart's content. Okay, you guys, so that is my 10 minutes or less video on how to create a brow. Really simple, right? It's not really that hard. I just used a couple of products here. I used our concealer brush and a blending brush. Those are the only two brushes that you need. Other than that, I used a precision brow pencil in Deep Brunette and our Moi Concealer in Medium Peach. All right, beauties, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty easy to do, right? It doesn't really take a lot of work to create a very simple brow. Um, I've had clients tell me that they take a really long time to create their brows, and to me, it should be very easy and natural looking. You don't want your brows to look painted on. So I hope that you found this video useful and keep your eyes out for my next video, 10 minutes or less, how to create a soft nude eye.